How are we doing, fourth graders? Mr. Carter here, ready to do homework 3.5. Please put your name on this if you haven't yet already. And let's begin. So, um, this is a fraction number story that we're going to solve here. So let's, let's go ahead and read that problem. So it says, Karen and her three friends want to share three small veggie pizzas equally. Karen tried to figure out how much pizza each of the four children would get. So she drew this picture and wrote two answers. So she drew this picture. She's got an answer of three-fourths or one and one-fourth. Which of Karen, Karen's answers is correct? That's our first question we're going to try to solve. Then it's saying, draw on Karen's diagram to make it clear how the pizza should be distributed among four children. So I'm going to skip to part B first. Uh, I'm going to draw on Karen's uh, drawing and then I that will give us the answer here of which one or a which one of uh, Karen's answers is correct so <clears throat> I know that she's got four friends I'm just gonna draw four friends here actually she's got three friends this is Karen this would be friend number one friend two and friend so I know we have a total of four people, like the problem said, four children. So we have three pizzas here. What she did is she decided to take each slice and divide it into four, which would mean that each person gets one slice from each pizza. So if we look at one pizza here, one-fourth would go to Karen. Friend number one would get a fourth. Friend number two would get another fourth and friend number three would get that last fourth. So each person, if we went through and labeled all the pizzas, so we have Karen here, friend number one, friend number two, friend number three. Let's go Karen here, friend number one, number two, and number three. So if we add up all of Karen's pieces, we have one, two, three fourths, same thing with friend number one, one, two, three fourths. So her answer of three fourths is correct, not one and one fourth. <clears throat> Question two, Erin and her seven friends want to share six small veggie pizzas equally. How much pizza will each of the eight children get? So I started a drawing here. So, we have Erin and her seven friends, friend one, two, three, four, five, six, and friend seven, which if we count all our people, we have eight people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that tells us we need to take each pizza and divide it into eight equal pieces. So I'm going to do that with our first pizza here. Cut it in half. Cut it into fourths, and then cut it into eighths. So, <clears throat> Aaron's going to get a slice. We're in number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. So, our question, if we look back, is asking, how much pizza will each of the eight children get? If we were to take each pizza and cut it into the same way, into an eighth, each friend would get one eighth of a pizza. I'm not going to go and slice these just to save us some time. But I know that each friend is going to get one-eighth from this pizza, one-eighth from here, one-eighth, 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 one-eighth. So if I add all those eighths up, with six pizzas, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have six-eighths. So each person at Aaron's house will get six-eighths of a slice of pizza. Now, if I would, 
Let's go ahead and write that in. So how much pizza will each of the children get? They will get six eighths of a pizza. <clears throat> Who will get more pizza, Karen or Aaron? So if we look at Karen, she's getting three fourths of a slice, and Aaron's getting six eighths. So if I was to draw a circle, I'm going to compare those. So we have pizzas here that look that are pretty similar in size. I'm going to cut this one into fourths and say that this one is what Karen is getting. And that's three fourths. At Aaron's, every person was getting six eighths. So here's a pizza that's cut into eight, and I'm going to color in six of them. So again, this was Aaron. And they're getting six eighths. So let's take a look. One, two. That would equal a fourth. Three, four. That's a half. Five, six. <clears throat> so who is getting the same um, more pizza? Well, the answer is they get the same amount. Explain or show how you know. Well, you could draw two pizzas here. One that has three fourths and six eighths. That's also that's um, showing here that they are equal because it's the same amount of pizza. We could also do our formula for um, equivalent fractions. Because if you go three fourths, so if you go three times two, that equals six. And whatever you do to the top, you got to do to the bottom. So if you went 4 times 2, that would equal 8. So 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. All right, let's look at the bottom. All the factors for 50, well, we start with 1 and 50. Then we ask ourselves, we go to the next counting number, and that's 2. And 2 is a factor, because you can take 15, cut it in half, and 2 and... 25, or 2 times 25 would be 50. 3 and 4 are not um, factors of 50, but 5 is. 5 times 10 would be 50. And then 6 is not a factor of 50, neither 7, 8, or 9. But 10 is, so we already have 10, so we know we have all our factors. Is 50 prime or composite? 50 is a composite because it has more than one factor pair. Write the factor pairs for 75. Well, the first one's easy. It's 1 and 75. We have 3 and 25. That was also easy because if I think of money, I think of quarters. Three quarters, three twenty-five cents would equal seventy-five cents. And since seventy-five ends with a five, I know that it has to be divisible by five. So I ask myself, five times what is seventy-five? And when I figure that out, it's fifty. All right. Well, that's it for now. Uh, if you have questions, please come see me. Uh, hope this was helpful. Take care.